Well, um, I think at age 44, uh, you might be smarter to do mini IVF because your eggs just aren't going to be as fertile. Uh, now, we can do a tubal reversal if you're against IVF and you only want to get pregnant in a natural way, uh, but uh, the chance of getting pregnant are going to be low. I mean, we can do a perfect tubal reversal. So you'll be just as fertile as you would if you never had your tubes sterilized in 2005, I guess it was, 15 years ago. Uh, but your eggs just aren't going to be anywhere near as good. We can put your tubes together if that's what your desire is. But uh, I, I think a, a higher yield would be with uh, mini IVF. Well, you say it was 49... Oh, I see. 49, 64, 99, and 227. Well, I mean, it can, ectopic is a possibility, even though your tubes are tied, because the tubes can recanalize incorrectly and the egg and the embryo can get stuck there. So do not rule out an ectopic. I think it's really important to uh, get an ultrasound. And if you're four weeks pregnant, one should see a, a fetal sac. If you don't see a fetal sac in the uterus, then it's it's an ectopic pregnancy. So I, I think you've got to get medical attention for that and see your gynecologist about that. Yes, so it depends a lot on your age. But uh, if if you're you, know, you look pretty young from the picture oh. I just saw there. Oh yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't know I'm, what her age. Uh, she doesn't mention her age. Right, but I'm looking at the picture and she doesn't look so doesn't look that old. But I don't know. Let's say you're in your 30s and not in your 40s and you have a low number of eggs. It's called premature ovarian failure. So you're likely to run out of eggs by the time you're 40. But the stupidest thing in the world is to turn you down for IVF when actually that's what you got to hurry up and do before you lose the eggs you do have. The baby rate per egg is strictly related to the age of those eggs. It's not related necessarily to the number of eggs. So if we can even get one egg for IVF or two would be great and we fertilize it and we get a good embryo or two good embryos, great. We'll freeze them and we'll do it again a couple of months later. Uh, we might even wind up with enough embryos. You'll have your whole family before you run out of eggs. But there, it's one of the stupidest ideas that IVF doctors will cancel you or turn you down because of a low ovarian reserve. We're, we're happy if we get one egg, uh, especially if you're in your 30s or even 20s. We can have a baby from that. And a, and a high pregnancy rate, as a matter of fact, because it's only related to the age of your eggs, not to the number of your eggs. So uh, I wouldn't uh, waste any time. I think we have to hurry up with you. Well, uh, I think we need to really look into that. Uh, because, uh, you know, if you're 45 and your eggs aren't maturing, well, that's understandable. But if you're in your 30s or even 20s and they tried IVF and the eggs didn't mature there, it's possible that their stimulation protocol isn't the best stimulation protocol. So I need to know more details actually on that one. Uh, but uh, uh, if you're younger, uh, like not in not 45, but say in your 30s or 20s, uh, and you have uh, eggs that aren't maturing, uh, I, I would want to really do that with our protocol, with a minimal stimulation protocol, and uh, and see whether see whether that's really true that your eggs won't mature. Now, in truth, if everything is done exactly the right way, and all you have are immature eggs that can't be injected, they're not metaphase two eggs. Well, then, okay, donor eggs is always a good option. I never have a problem with donor eggs. We usually reserve that for older women who just can't get pregnant with their old eggs or have run out of eggs. But, but I never have a problem with donor eggs because uh, I've said this many times that it's easy to match appearance and background and ethnicity and race, but what you can't match are five intangibles, personality, character, intelligence, emotional stability, and bonding with you as mother. And those five intangibles are not in the DNA. They're in how you interact with a baby very early in the first two years of life. And so whenever we've had to use donor eggs, and we've used them since 1986, so we've seen these kids grow up to being 34 years old, and 35 years old, and uh, we don't have any unhappy cases. 
because uh, it may not be your DNA if you use donor eggs, but it's still your baby. Nonetheless, most people want their own DNA, and, and we will cater to that for sure. So I think we ought to double check and see whether your eggs are really the problem or not. Well, okay, so you give me the information that I need. At 40 years of age, we really need to go ahead and, and do IVF. Uh, the thyroid and diabetic problems can be managed well. But with eggs that are 40 years old, you're going to have a very high miscarriage rate, and we have to tackle that with IVF. So, Lisette, I really don't think that any of those tests mean anything. You're 38 years old, and so uh, the incidence of infertility and women who are 35 or older is about 25%. So you, you may have uh, actually been quite fertile and had your earlier child when you were younger, but you're 38 now, and uh, none of the tests mean anything except your age. Uh, of course, I'm glad you have a good ovarian reserve and your husband's sperm is okay, that's nice, but that doesn't matter because the baby rate per egg begins to dramatically go down from age 35 to age 40 and then it sort of tapers, but it's still low. And uh, we studied that and we reported 14,000 cycles of single embryo transfer, natural cycle, uh, and IVF. And we were able from that to determine, and we wrote the paper in 2017, that's been very well documented that uh, the intrinsic fertility of the egg goes down a little bit in your 20s, but then by age 35, it begins to go down very rapidly and you're 38. So you can't fool around. You, you've got to go to IVF and don't pay any attention to these other doctors. Okay, well, first place, stop this Vitex. You are 43 years old. There is one advantage you have over other 43 year olds. Your baby rate per egg is going to be low because you're 43. But PCOS, as I described before, means you have a huge number of eggs. And those huge number of eggs are inhibiting your pituitary gland in the first part of your cycle. So you don't recruit a dominant follicle. And so you need to do mini IVF as soon as possible. And I do several cycles and freeze the embryos and then transfer the embryos later after we've accumulated them because your eggs at age 43 are in the bad category for fertility and we need to get them before it gets worse. Uh, so I wouldn't hesitate now to go ahead with IVF and drop the flags. Okay, and then Dr. Silver, your last uh, question, which was uh, that follow-up that Joanne uh, had mentioned. Uh, she says that uh, I'm diabetic, have thyroid problems and PCOS, had a baby 10 years ago, so I'm trying for another baby. I'm 40 years old. Do I have any chances to get pregnant? 